Praise God. We're clone. Amen. So all of you that are joining us by audio video, we welcome you. Amen. And happy Sunday morning to you. Pastor Jose and Pastor Patricia of the New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben here in Marfa, Texas. And NBC Church welcome you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. What we need to do is prepare ourselves to receive. God always has something for us. Bienvenidos. A la iglesia del nuevo comienzo, a todos los que nos estén escuchando ahorita por audio o video, empiecen, estén listos para escuchar, para lo que el Señor tenga para ustedes. Amen. Amen. So, praise God, get yourselves ready. Don't say, well, you know, He always passes me up. Well, get ready. Amen. Stay ready. Amen. Yes. Be ready, because He's always ready. Yes, He is. He visits, he wants to visit with you all the time. Yes. Amen. So allow the word of God to bless you, Amen. encourage you, change you, and sometimes convict you. Yes. Amen. So sometimes yes. we need a little kick in our goal. Say, I'm you know to get going. <laughs> we need to move. Amen. Amen. He didn't say, uh, stand still. He says, move, press on. Amen. Amen. When he said, tell us to stand still, is to stand and when we've done all the stand he says yes. stand and we're going to be talking about that because amen. we're going to continue with call to battle amen. part two amen. amen we are called to battle amen. we're also amen. called to fight the good fight of faith amen so we got to keep our faith up at all times amen. the bible amen. says without faith it is impossible, impossible. to please god amen. Right. so you got to have faith and don't say well i don't have any faith yes you do uh i said it this way before you know we always acknowledge fear before we acknowledge faith. Uh -huh. And we feel so fearful. But the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yes. And you know what? As you get in the Word, as you get into your relationship with Him, and you allow the Word to come in you, that faith is going to grow. Yes. And guess what? When you get full of faith, your fear has to go. Right. Amen. So say, go. Amen. I don't receive you. A lot of times we're so quick to say, you know, uh, uh, there's sickness going around, there's flu going oh, around. You know what? I'm gonna, I, 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 I'll catch it. Right. I've got it. No, we're always no. catching things we ain't supposed to catch. That's right. No. We're supposed to catch the things of God, That's right. not Amen. the things of the world, not the things Amen. of the enemy. Praise Amen. God. That's, That's right. not for us. That's right. That is Come not on. for us. You know, let it go. He said, hey, go somewhere else. Yeah. You're not wanted here. Right. You're not welcome here. Amen. 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 Say, uh -uh. You know, God. when I pray for myself and I pray for others, you know, I always say, you know, God, sickness, Jesus, by his stripes I'm healed. Uh -huh. Yes. And I receive healing in my body. Amen. And I don't allow sickness in my body. Sickness has a name. You must go. Yes, amen. Okay? I don't care what your body is telling you. Yeah. You know, our body is telling us a lot of times, uh, I don't feel like going to church. Oh, I, did this morning. <laughs> I don't feel <laughs> like going to work. But we go to work anyway. Amen. <laughs> so when your body's telling you those things, mm -hmm. just say, body line up with the word of God. Amen. amen. Get up, amen, and go. Yes. But we must tell that also when the enemy is trying to yeah. tell you yeah. you don't feel well mm -hmm. or give you all these other negative things. We're yeah. going to be talking about the full armor of God. Amen. Yeah. And one of the things he attacks the most is the mind. And yeah. we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Yes, yes. Amen. So we got to know what to do as children Amen. of God. We got to stop listening. Yeah. To the devil. It says give no place, no to, place. to the devil. Uh -huh. Amen. Because Amen. he always wants to come in. Yeah. And you, see, you give him an inch and he wants to rule you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting way ahead of myself. <laughs> and you get, you know, he wants uh -huh. you give him a ride. Uh-huh. You want to drive. Yeah, he wants he wants to drive your yeah. life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we've said this before, you know, but if you open up the sin, it says it'll take you further than you want to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. It'll yeah. cost you more than you can pay. So you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Anyway, get ready to receive, church. Amen. Before Praise we God. do that, let's grab our swords. Yes. Amen. Let's grab our swords. Yes. Okay. This is my Bible. I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be talking about God. I'm holy and I'm holy and I'm holy. My spirit is receptive. I'll never lose. Amen. In Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. I'll never be the same. That's right. My mind is alert. Yeah. But where does the enemy attack the most? The mind. The mind. Okay. Can't make you do anything, but you can put thoughts there. Yeah. The thoughts of defeat. Yeah. Thoughts of cheat or thoughts, any evil thought you uh -huh. can put there. Yeah. Amen. And it's your choice uh -huh. to entertain it or just say, uh, I don't see that. That's not for me. That's past. That's not even. You're in the wrong address. That's the right. wrong person. Amen. You go somewhere else. I rebuke that. I yeah. refuse that. Yes. I resist it in Jesus' name. Jesus. So go somewhere else. Yes. You're not welcome here. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive all those of you that are listening by audio or video. Because He has great things yes. for you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, you want your surprise, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a quick review. So God has called us to battle. Mm -hmm. God has yes. called every one of us. How many children of God in here? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Every hand should go up. Yes. If you don't know, you're a child of God. Uh -huh. Stop calling yourself a sinner. Or stop calling yourself a loser. Right. Or stop calling yourself a quitter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a child of God. Yes. That's who you are. And you are special. That's the way he sees you. See yourself the way he sees you. Yeah. We've been talking about confessing the right words, confessing the right things. Get your words right and say the right things over yourself. Amen. Quit allowing the world or somebody else or maybe even yourself to say negative things about yourself because you're not that anymore. Amen. You're a child of God and you're special. God put you here. You're on a mission. Yeah. And you're a soldier for Jesus. Yes. You're and see yourself as a mighty soldier, not a defeated soldier. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Don't see Thank yourself God. that way anymore. That's right. You know what? When you know whose you are, whose you are, uh -huh. and who's backing you, yes. you're gonna have an attitude of gratitude. Amen. You're gonna have an attitude like King David had. Uh -huh. Well, it was little shepherd boy David at the time. Mm -hmm. But when he walked up and he hears this giant cursing his God, he says, wait a minute. That God in him rose up. Oh, yeah. The God in you is going to rise yes. up. You know, when yeah. those giants attack you on a daily basis, they come. Yeah. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You're walking out there. Yeah. And you've got your full armor on. And you've got the word with you. And we're, we're going we're gonna to be getting into that. It's not about being... Defeated, it's about being winners for him, being yes. champions for him. Amen? Amen. And you can do it. Whatever mission fields you go out to, you know, when you leave these four walls, huh. you go out to your mission fields. Yes. Amen. Amen. I can't go there. You can go where I go. But everywhere you go, you can bring him. Mm -hmm. Because he's in you. He, the word is in you. It's going to come out of you. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's going to come out of you. Praise God. You present him. Don't be ashamed to say, hey, Jesus is my Lord. Sir. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Jesus loves you. Yeah. yeah, but you don't know what I've been through. And I've been told that he can't use me anymore because I've sinned, because I've done wrong, you know? Mm. <laughs> don't listen to what so and so said. That's right. <laughs> That's a lie. Amen. He's not done with you. As a matter of fact, receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. He'll use you until he calls you home. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says oh, yeah. we can do some things. Through oh, Christ. All things. <laughs> Come on now. Come on we now. can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens uh -huh. us. All things. That's right. Not some things. He said, all things. Yes. I'm just testing you. I want uh -huh. you to get involved now. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I want it to come out of you. Listen to this. Man, your battle station sounds the alarm just as a quick, quick, quick review. As soldiers for Jesus, uh -huh. we are engaged in a spiritual battle. Yes, yes. Not once in a while, but. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. All the time. The enemy's on the attack. So prepare yourselves. Yeah. This year, this new year, we just started. We're just in March. And daily, allow yourself to be used of God. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Say, Lord, here I am. Use me. When you know, every time you say that, you make the devil mad. Mm -hmm. But you're making God glad. <coughs> say, that's my soldier. That's my mighty warrior. Mm -hmm. You know? That's who you are. That's the way he sees you. He doesn't see you defeated. Jesus paid the price. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. He paid everything for us. Yes. And he paid it all in full. Yes, so that we can say, you know, I've got all the spiritual weapons that he's given me. And I'm going to use all my spiritual weapons. I have 
the armor of God yes. that we're going to be talking about. Amen. So praise God. Let me see yeah. if, he, if he can stand up here. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to be talking some more about that. Mm. But anyway, we want a quick review here. Stay battle ready. Ready for action. Be a participator, not a spectator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants you to be involved. Mm -hmm. Don't never exclude yourself. If he called, <laughs> know that he's called you. Yes. And know that he's approved you and equipped you. So he wants to use you. Mm -hmm. As long as you're here, as long as you're alive, you're on God's army. Mm -hmm. Amen. And know and stay battle ready. Not just participating, but I mean, not just spectating, but you are to participate. Never yes. give up, never quit, never surrender. You're a child of God. And He wants us to pray always. Pray without ceasing. Amen? Praise God. And He wants us to pray for all people. We have a mighty prayer group that meets on Tuesdays. We invite you to come and join us every Tuesday at 7 o'clock and listen to what it says. This is what we use. This is one of the scriptures, foundation scriptures we have. 2 Timothy 2 and 1 and 2. Says first of all, then I urge that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be offered on behalf of what? All people. You know, all people. Pray for all people, not just some people, not just our little group. <laughs> we pray for all people. Amen. Our prayer goes all the way around the world, mm -hmm. not just in Marfa, Texas. Right. Amen. Goes all the way around the world, and there's this. There's no distance in prayer. That's right. Amen. And sometimes, you know, you can't reach your you can't reach your family, but God has somebody yes. to reach them. Yeah. Amen. God has somebody to reach them, whether he live uh, somewhere in the United States. Well, <laughs> doesn't yeah. matter. God has his whole body yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Amen. And God can use people to yes. reach your unsaved loved ones. Amen. Yeah. So we're to pray for all people, for kings, and for all those in a position of high authority, yeah. so that we may live a peaceful and quiet life. In all godliness and dignity. Amen. So Amen. praise God. And so, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18 says this. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Amen. Jesus for us. Amen. Amen. Just a quick review of our spiritual weapons. Our spiritual weapons God has provided for his church. Amen. This is awesome. And of course, one of you. <coughs> His name. The name yeah. of Jesus. Amen. The blood of the Lamb. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me see. I got my little list right here. Wanna just just say a few. Not, not all of them, but just a few so that you know. The Word of God. The name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Get this out of here. The blood of the Lamb. The Word of the mouth, your, your confession, your faith confession. <clears throat> Praying in the Spirit. Praise. Faith and prayer. Mm -hmm. And binding and losing. Amen? Yeah. We have those things. you got to know what they are so that you can use it yourself. Yeah. Don't be ignorant of the Word of God. Amen. Know what the Word of God is so that you can have it in you so it can come out of you. And you know what? <clears throat> when you speak the Word, the devil flees. So submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he'll come. Yeah. He has nothing to say. That's right. Don't accept defeat from the enemy. Amen. He's a defeated foe. And we're not going to allow ourselves to be defeated by a defeated foe. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <clears throat> God loved us so much, he says in John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. And we know God, <coughs> Jesus' mission was to come that we might have life more abundantly. Yes. But we also find out in John 10, 10, the enemy comes to what? Steal, yeah, kill, kill, and, and destroy. If that's happening, know that you need to get right with God. Amen? You need to get right with God and receive Him as your Lord and Savior. If you haven't, we've talked about this. Just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And guess what? You're on your way. Amen. Find yourself a Bible-based church where they teach the Word of God not, we don't teach just what we want to teach. We teach nothing but the Word of God. Amen? Amen. And start growing, start maturing as a child of God. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Just some quick, quick, quick things uh, that we're reviewing. First Peter 5 and 8 says, Stay alert, watch out, 
your great enemy, the devil, he prowls around us and roaring lions, he can only make the vow. Amen. Just quickly, <laughs> the enemy is listening. What is he listening to? Your, your words. Your words. <laughs> Remember, this is why it's so important we change the way we talk. Yes. Because we can say something and stand strong, but then again, we can just, if you're not, if you don't have your relationship and build your relationship up with him, guess what? We start desensitizing ourselves. We just start to get weak and weak and weak. Yes. And then we start confessing the things of the world. Start confessing the word of the world and being like the world. And next thing you know is we've opened the door for the enemy to come in. Well, I'm a Christian. But now you're walking like a defeated Christian. Because you, all these things are happening to you. How did you allow the enemy to come in? The words you're saying. The yes. words you're speaking. So be careful. Amen. Be careful. The enemy is listening. Remember he's a defeated foe. Don't yeah. have a defeated foe to beat us. Amen. That's so right. praise God. <clears throat> he walks around and says, Roaring lion seeking who made a vow. <laughs> he won't attack just anyone. Listen. <laughs> How many of you remember seven sons of Stephen? Mm, yes. They were trying to say, well, you know, uh, so-and-so said, so we're going to say it too. They were imitating some person. Mm -hmm. They weren't confessing the word. Right. And they weren't standing on the word. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The enemy won't stand for just pretending. That's right. Amen. Ah, he ah, wants you to be based yeah, on what the word of God says. And know for don't yourself know. the word of God. You yeah. know, when he, when he attacked, when he come to attack Jesus, <laughs> he saw Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, well, physically... He's weak, so he attacked him. You may be weak physically, but spiritually, you're strong. Amen. Because Jesus attacked him back with mm -hmm. the word yes, and says, did. wait a minute, it is written. It is written. I'm not weak in the word. Don't be weak in the word. Amen. Just because you're sick doesn't mean that you're weak in the word. The word is in me, and it's going to come out of me. Amen. So praise God. He's looking for weak, uh, lazy uh, em empty, empty, empty <laughs> Christians. <laughs> yeah. They're not confessing the word anymore. Uh -huh. We just kind of lukewarm. Uh -huh. He don't want us lukewarm. He wants us hot. You see, I'd rather yeah. have you hot or cold. Amen. But don't pretend this thing, you know, by yeah. playing church. He don't want to. Don't, don't, don't straddle the fence. Be for real. Amen. Jesus was for real. He had opportunity to say, you know what? These people don't appreciate me, so get me out of here, Father. I don't want to go through this anymore. He was for real. From the time he came to earth and born till the time he went to the cross, and even after they crucified him. Yes. Before they crucified him, he told the Father, forgive him. Yeah. Amen. So, who do we think we are by trying to hold it against somebody else? Mm -hmm. You know, when you forgive somebody that does you real wrong, oh, and you say, you know what, I forgive you, I'm going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. It just, their job just drops. Mm -hmm. Because they want you to react the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And you react Jesus' way. Amen. When you react this way, it just blows them away. Yes, it does. They weren't expecting that. No. They want you to act like the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start from here. See yourself mm -hmm. the way he sees you. Amen. Remember the ABCs? Remember the say-sos? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, you guys forget some questions. No. All right. <laughs> See yourself. You say-sos. I am blessed. I'm a winner. I'm prosperous. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm talented. I'm faithful. I'm focused. Mm -hmm. I'm valuable. Yes. Man, this is just a few. I'm an overcomer. I'm a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yeah. I'm changing the way I talk. I'm not going to be this run down, defeated person anymore. The enemy's going to have a fight. He comes attacking me, he's going to have a fight. See yourself, you're, you're a warrior for him. You're a warrior for him. You see yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. See yourself the way he sees you. Woo, hallelujah. You're the winner, you're the conqueror, you're the son and daughter of the mighty God. Equip with the power of God. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Me and Mr. Reyes were working on a refrigerator. <laughs> Anytime you're working with uh, something that's got power to it, you got to be careful. Unplug it. You know, we saw, finally saw it. I said, you know, we should have unplugged it. <laughs> <laughs> 
when I was a little guy, I confess a time. <laughs> I was doing some toast, I don't know, maybe six, eight years old. <laughs> I was toasting some, some, some bread and uh, I got stuck, so I stuck my butter knife in there to get it out. Uh, it got my attention real quick. <laughs> it gave me a shock I won't forget, amen? I mean, you guys have never done anything like that. <laughs> That's okay. Pass it in. <laughs> you and overcome and see yourself strong in Him. Amen. That's what David did. He saw, he, saw, he saw himself strong in Him. King Saul and the whole army never brought up God in the picture. Huh. Until David got there. Yeah. And he says, wait a minute. You guys ain't even talking about Almighty God. Right. When your giants, when your problems, when your cares, all these things pop in front of you, and these things are so big, we magnify them bigger than our God. Yeah. Uh -huh. We got to start there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater is he that's in you. Greater, greater is your God. He's bigger than any mountain, any yeah. mountain that can come against you, Amen. any yes. problem that come against you. Amen. We, we got to remember this. We can't say, well, we think of it at last instead of thinking it at first. We have to remember this. Remember, God is back in you. <laughs> no child problems, no setbacks, no failures. They've got to go. Amen. Say the reasons for attacking you. He wanted to discredit God, mislead Christians. Yeah. Amen. So Amen. we're not going to allow that to happen anymore. And we're going to be talking about the armor here. But I'm going to talk to you. I told you I was addicted to um, <clears throat> sports. <laughs> Just the game of baseball. Even a soldier, you know, I was retired military and we wore special uniforms for different occasions, okay? For battle, you got your battle uniform on and you got all your protective gear on. Well, we're going to talk about baseball. <laughs> and a position, the catcher. You see a catcher behind home plate. Some of these pitchers pitch over 100 miles an hour. And he's not going to stand back there with just no protective gear on. They wear protective gear. Mm -hmm. If that ball gets past his glove, it's going to hit him on the chest. It's going to knock him out or might kill him. Mm -hmm. He's got his helmet on to protect him because if they tip a ball, it's going to hit him in the face. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't catch, it's going to hit his face. But he's got the helmet on. Yes. And he would never see himself going into a baseball game without the protective, protective gear on. Not only that, you know, when bats are swung or bats break, it could hurt him. Yes. And then you got these charging runners coming at him. Mm. And he's got to stand his ground. Right. But he's got protective gear on. How much more, <laughs> how much more mm -hmm. huh, should uh, Christians, it says Christians should even uh, be more or wear the uniform and not go into battle without their protective gear on. Amen. God has given us a full armor of God. And we, but that's when we're going to be talking about it. And if you never heard about it, it's time that you do. And you know, we confess those things. A helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the shoe shot with perfection, gospel of peace. Well, what does that mean? If you never heard it before. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give you a brief description of each one of them. Amen. Amen. And if you go to Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, it talks about these things. Amen. And listen, I am for King James translation. I love King James translation. But if you can't understand it well enough, go to another translation that'll bring it out to you. Yeah. Go to a, an English translation mm -hmm. that'll bring it out to you. I like to get a, the easy to read version where you can understand what it's saying. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> if this uh, catcher won't go into a game without his protective gear. Guess what? Don't leave home without your protection gear. Yeah. Don't walk out the door without spending time with him and putting your armor on and having the name, the blood of Jesus to go with you Amen. wherever you go. Amen? Amen. Guess what? The enemy's not going to attack you, especially when you know what to do. Mm. Say, wow, I know you've been with Jesus. I ain't going to mess with you. That's right. Don't mess with me. That's you want right. to fight? You got to fight. Yeah, Amen. Let them know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for battle. Ah. <laughs> Thank God daily for the full armor and the protection. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, um, let me see. Well, here it is right here. 
The full armor of God. First of all, Ephesians 6, 11 through 13. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take a stand against the devil's schemes. Mm -hmm. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. We need to know this. Mm -hmm. Put or against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of, the, of this darkness world, and against the spiritual forces and evil and highly realm. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you will be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, guess what? Mm -hmm. Stand. Yeah. I'm not moving, devil. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to mess with me anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. So first of all, if you ain't never seen one, here's one right here. <laughs> the built of truth. <laughs> the built of truth. Listen to this. Amen. Stand firm in the belt of truth. Buckle around your waist. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 6.14. The belt of truth involves two places, our heart and our minds. Mm. Truth keeps us secure in Christ and makes effective all the other pieces of the armor. The belt of truth holds our armor in place. Commit yourself daily to walk in the light of God's truth. Mm -hmm. Teach me your ways, O Lord, mm -hmm. that I may live according to your truth. Psalms Amen. 86 11. Yes. So every piece of this armor is good for us. And it belongs to us. And Amen. It, it's been given to us. Mm. The breastplate of righteousness. Mm -hmm. With the breastplate of righteousness in place, Ephesians 6, 14, a soldier with a breastplate goes into battle boldly with confidence. <laughs> Amen. You don't go into battle defeated. That's you don't right. go into battle with a bad attitude, mm. a bad conscience. Yeah. He says, battle boldly with confidence. The devil is constantly attacking us with lies, mm -hmm. accusations, and reminders of past sins. Without the belt of righteousness, these will penetrate your heart. Mm -hmm. Become aware of who you are in Christ Jesus. Come boldly into his presence. Hebrews yes. 4, 6. Come boldly to the presence of God. He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. St. Corinthians 5, 17. Behold, all things have become new. All things are past. So now you're a child of God. All things. Forget about the old things. New things. You're a new Amen. soldier. You're a new Christian. You're a new yes. uh, creature in Christ. A new creature in Christ. Amen? A new creature in Christ. So this is talking about the breastplate of righteousness and uh, <clears throat> the shoes of peace in preparation for shoes put on these uh, put on the peace that comes from God's good news so that you be fully prepared Ephesians 6 15 shoes allow us to stand firm and step freely without fear while we turn our full attention to the battle at hand Amen. they aid in our movements and defense the shoes God gives propels us onwards to proclaim the true peace which is available in Christ. Prepare yourself to follow the Lord no matter what. Mm -hmm. Knows who you are and know who you are. And we're going to march on. Soldiers march. Soldiers press on. He didn't never say it. Go back. Yes, right. And all the armor is for the front yeah. and yeah. protection. Yeah. Amen. He didn't put nothing for your back, so if you run back, you're, you're exposed. <laughs> and he's going to have you. <laughs> so we're going to press on, march on. And those are the shoes of the peace in preparation. Number five is here. Well, it's number four. four. Number four. The shield of faith. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Yeah. Who's sending you all these? Who's shooting all these little dark chaps? The devil. The wicked one. The devil. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ephesians 6, 16. The shield not only defends our whole body, mm -hmm. but also our armor. The yes. shield of faith has a specific function, mm -hmm. which the Bible makes abundantly clear. Quench yeah. all the fiery, all, all the fiery darts Amen. of the wicked. Not some, but all of them. All the shield this. moves with the attack, no matter the direction. That's so right. in every direction you go, your seal is ready to yes. quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Amen. I don't care how many he shoots. Guess what? 
That shield is going to protect you. Amen. Amen. All these, all these pieces are available for the armor. Amen. And number five, the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation, Ephesians 6, 17. Satan targets your mind. Satan's weapon lies. The enemy wants us to make, excuse me, Satan uh, wants us doubt God and our salvation. The helmet protects our mind from doubts, the truth of God's uh, saving works for us. Since we belong to the day, we must be seriously and put on the full, I mean the armor of faith and of on our chest and put on the helmet of hope of salvation. First uh, Thessalonians 5 8. We need know that you're saved. You don't have to doubt. I have received Jesus my Lord and Savior and I am saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The enemy attacks the mind. So yes. be careful. He attacks the mind. And how does he attack the mind? He tells you lies. Mm -hmm. And he puts thoughts. Right. And for you to entertain, if you entertain those things, guess what? You start weakening yourself if you entertain those things instead of just saying, you know what? I don't receive that. Amen. I rebuke that. He attacks. It's a spiritual battle. Yeah. And we need to be in the Word and mm -hmm. use the Word and the weapons, spiritual weapons He's given us to defeat these things. Yes. The sword of the Spirit. Put on the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, Ephesians 6, 17. It says... The sword of the Spirit is the only weapon of offense yeah. in the armor. But the word, the Bible, is also a tool for defense. Yeah. Strongholds, arguments, and thoughts that are weapons the enemy uses against us. With the sword of the Spirit, God's word, people are equipped to deal with them all. We need to trust in the truth of God's word. Have confidence in the value of God's word. Get hunger and desire it. We you hear it from us all the time. Be hungry for the word. You know, hey, I'm hungry for food, especially on Fellowship Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> food is great, but we must hunger for the food, the word of God, Amen. all the time. Yes, hunger and thirst. <laughs> if you saw me last week with us. Uh, Keep ourselves stirred up in His Word. If you saw me last week <laughs> with my soda, you know, we used to do this when we were kids. <laughs> Nacho was scared last week. <laughs> He's always shaking this, and then I walk over to him and went like this, and he just kind of backed up. <laughs> Listen, when we stir ourselves with the Word of God, don't mm -hmm. never doubt yourself get the word of God in you, you mm -hmm. stir it up and you fill yourself with the I am's and the mm -hmm. say so's of who yes. you are. Amen. You know, it's just bubbling in you. You're stirring it up so good. Guess what? Next thing you know, when you open your mouth, mm -hmm. this thing is going to shoot out. Mm -hmm. It's going to shoot out. The word is going to come out. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of living yes. water. This ain't one word at a time. It says rivers, rivers of living water. That's right. And you know how many times you caught yourself saying, wow, I didn't know that was in me. I said, I couldn't, I, I, I can't see myself doing those things. I told you a confession time last week. Mm. You know, before I come to pastor, I thought, and the fear was there about, how am I going to do this on a, on a daily basis. How am I going to do this every time we meet? Every time we have church? Where am I going to get all the words to say? That was fear. And I was thinking about me. And I was counting myself short. But with God, we can do all things. Amen. I'm trusting yes. Him. He's going to put it there. But when we fill ourselves, says, if you fill yourself, your cup runs over. Yes. When your cup runs over, that means you're giving a word. And when your cup runs empty, fill it up. Don't allow it to get empty. Don't allow yourself to get empty. You know, say, oh man, I'm feeling so weak. I'm feeling so defeated. I wonder why. Well, it's time to charge yourself back up. Stir yourself back up. You know, because we're also flesh. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. It says, feed your spirit the word of God. Renew your mind to the things of God. 
and crucify the flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. The flesh cannot defeat. The flesh cannot fight the spiritual battle. We need to fight. Mm -hmm. We need the word of God. Amen. We need the blood of God. Yeah. We need those things he's given us. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, sometimes our flesh don't want to do it. Especially, <clears throat> mm -hmm. well, I'm not going there. <laughs> All right. So praise God. Amen. Mm. If well, no, the next one. This it talks about praying in the spirit at what? All times, on every occasion, stay alert and persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Ephesians six eighteen. I'm going to give you this handout in a few minutes, but listen to this prayer. And this prayer is going to be available to you. Amen. Amen. It says, Dear God, today we put on the full armor. Forgive us, God, for the times we've been unprepared, too busy to care, mm. or trying to fight and wrestle in our own strength. Thank you mm. that we never fight alone. For you are uh, constantly at work on our behalf. Yes. We believe your power protects us. Amen. And we trust in the powerful name of Jesus you are always shielding, shielding, protecting, strengthening, exposing deeds of darkness. Yes. Amen. Bringing to light what needs to be known. Covering us from uh, the cruel attacks we face even when we are unaware. Thank you that we are forgiven, set free, and saved by the grace of Christ Jesus through faith. Amen. 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 You can pray that all the time. Pray that for yourself, you know. Mm -hmm. Start knowing what every piece of the armor Amen. of God is about. Yes. Amen. Well, I never read it like that. I never heard it like that before. But it's time for us to grow. We mature and grow all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And as we assemble ourselves together, it's not about see who knows more. Mm -hmm. It's about encouraging one another. Mm -hmm. We don't compete in the body of Christ. We complete mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Amen. Helping each other, encouraging each other, lifting each other up. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's not about me. It's about him. His price is already paid. I'm not yes. trying to build myself up. I'm not trying to do something for me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do something for us, the body yeah. of Christ. Amen. Each and every one of us. God. Well, praise God. If you ever want to see it, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had you a picture up there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, let's continue. Amen. Let's continue. Amen. And Paul tells us to put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Not just part of it, but the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Full dress. You know, you don't see uh, a soldier going to battle half dressed. Amen. <laughs> we got rolled up. We got reprimanded for not wearing, and we got inspected all the time. If you're not in full uniform, you're in trouble. And you suffer. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that they're not playing. And you don't need to play because you take your full uniform mm -hmm. seriously. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But a catcher don't go out there without his helmet. That's right. Where a catch, 100 mile an hour balls coming at him, or bat swinging, or somebody charging, mm -hmm. he wears his full protection all the time. Amen. Amen. And yeah. us in the body of Christ, we do the same thing. We need all this. But Paul tells us to wear the whole armor mm -hmm. that you may be able to stand yes. firm against the schemes of yes. the devil. Mm -hmm. Strategies. 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 <laughs> Thank you. I'll just test it. <laughs> Plans, plots, traps, <laughs> evil tricks. Mm -hmm. Without the whole armor. Yeah. Without the whole armor. Without Jesus, you're no man to the enemy. That's right. That's why it's so important that we don't forget these things. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 And thank you. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. And you're never alone. That's right. He's always with you. Amen. <laughs> See yourself the way he sees you, a mighty warrior, mm -hmm. fully dressed for battle, Amen. ready to fight and serve your commander in chief. Amen. I'm ready. To get your God. orders and say, I'm ready. What's, mm -hmm. what's the plan today? We always had a plan today, a daily plan. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Set your priorities step straight on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Paul tells us a strong defense is the beginning of a great offense. But put on God's protective armor. <coughs> like I said before, no protection for the back. 
We're going to attack huh. only. Hmm. We're not to quit and run. That's There's no right. protection yeah. from the back. So <laughs> I don't like pain. <laughs> this should not create fear in us. But as I said, we need to stir up, stay focused, stay hungry, stay full Amen. to overflowing, ready to minister. Amen. You know, when he says, I want you to do this, I want you to do this, I want you to tell him this. Don't say, well, I'm not ready. Be ready at all times. Yes. Amen. In season, Amen. out of season. Mm -hmm. Can't just sit and hope things turn out all right. It won't happen without a fight. Amen. You, don't, you fight or you give up. Win or lose is your choice. Yes. But we are called to battle. And we are destined to win. Mm -hmm. God's word works if you use it. Amen. We must take the authority, exercise your authority, and have withholding boldness. Amen. Amen. Praise, God. Praise God. I'm not bragging on me, I'm bragging on Him. Amen. So I'm going to stand with boldness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's a spiritual battle. For what? For freedom of lack, freedom of mental torment, freedom from oppression. Freedom from financial attack. Mm -hmm. These battles can be won. Yes. Your choice. Stay stirred up and win. Amen. Amen. Where it's not, I'm not accepting defeat. Say that. I'm not accepting I'm not defeat. Not accepting <laughs> defeat. <laughs> you got to stand on the word. Stand on the promises <laughs> that he's given us. He says, when you've done all to stand, do what? Stand. stand. And you know what? When you're standing, <laughs> Lord, I don't know what else to do except for standing. I'm standing on you. I'm standing on your word. I plead the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when the enemy sees you, he sees who's back in you. Mm -hmm. And he'll turn around. Amen. I resist you with everything I've got. God is with me. Yeah. He'll go. He's got to go. He says mm -hmm. he'll, he, he say, maybe he'll go. He says he'll flee. He'll flee. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> when you've done all the stand, stand. Let this year, let's do daily be the greatest breakthrough you ever had experience. Thank you, you can change your situation. The devil wants to fight, give him one. Hmm. Be strong, be committed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Change. Use your weapons. His word, his name, the blood of Jesus. Put on the armor of God. It never says take it off. That's right. Amen. It never says take it off. Amen. So, you're a mighty warrior, fully dressed for battle on a daily basis. Yes. On every occasion. Amen. Every occasion, whenever it rises up, get ready. The Lord is my strength. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm -hmm. 20, uh, Psalms 27 1. <laughs> the trumpet has sounded. Take action. Yeah. Be ready. No more playing. Listen, no more playing. No more pretending. No more procrastination. No more being passive. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, yeah. brother so and so take care of it. <laughs> Sister so and so take care of it. Mm -hmm. No. It's you. You stand up. It's, you're it. No more uh, spectating. It's time to get up. It's time for battle. The battle is on. Guess what? Let's get it on. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Just tell the other way. Come on. Say, wait a minute. Uh, I can go somewhere else where it's easy. You're too hard. That's right. You're going to find out. Things have changed. They're not the same. I read this to you a few minutes ago. It says, sin will take you further than you want to go. Keep you longer than you want to stay. Cost and will you cost you more than you want to pay. Right. right amen. When you read this, remember amen. that he's already paid it off. Yes, he has. He's already paid it off. Amen. amen. So we just got to stand our ground and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's all paid in full. So praise amen. God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Here's one of the things. A constant reminder. Proverbs 6, 2 says what? You have been trapped by the words of your lips. Mm. You have been caught with the words of your mouth. Mm. So control your tongue. Amen. I've told you many times I've come from a cussing family of champions or champions, cussing mm -hmm. champions. And I know them all. I've said them all. I've said them, but I don't say them anymore. Amen. They're in me. They're in, I, 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 I can think them, but they don't come out. It's my choice. I control it. You guard your mouth. You guard your words. 
and you can tell me and you can cuss me, but I'm not going to cuss you back. Amen, man. Because we're to imitate our Father, our Heavenly Father. Yeah. Amen. And I'm not going to say that to you. I'm not going to cuss you back. I'm not going to act the way you act. Two of the sign is not, not right. <laughs> Amen. So, Amen. I'm just going to say, you know what? God bless you. <laughs> you need Jesus. <laughs> you need Jesus. <laughs> And that's just why we need to stay strong in Him all the time and filled all the time because you don't want your flesh to be stronger than your spirit man. Right. Or not have your mind renewed because when somebody flip you off or when somebody tells you something you don't want to hear or when you do something and nobody says thank you, mm -hmm. you don't want to say, well, you know what? You can just blank it away. Mm -hmm. No. He's already paid. Mm -hmm. yes, amen. And I've settled it with amen. Him. And I've got my mind made up. Right. They'll see that Jesus is in you. We say it all the time. You're the closest thing to a Bible some of these people will ever see. Mm -hmm. Or read or open. Mm -hmm. But they'll see you. They're checking you out. Yeah. Don't get hung by the tongue. Speak the faith-filled words. Speak the mm -hmm. I am's, the say so's. God is constantly telling his people, arise and go forth in his name. Amen. Mm -hmm. When Moses died, they were all sitting around just being sad. And so God spoke to Joshua. He says, Joshua, mighty man of God, guess what? I want you to lead the people into the promised land. He said, who, me? He started to do a Moses thing. You know, he says, who, me? I can't even speak. Yeah. No, Moses was a great general. Amen. And he took him across into the promised land. Yeah. <laughs> and the promised land wasn't coming without a fight. Mm -hmm. That's another problem. They saw themselves as grasshoppers. If we're going to have an attitude, have a winning attitude, not a defeated Amen. attitude. Don't see myself. Don't have a grasshopper attitude anymore. Mm -hmm. See, hey, you know, I never thought about that. I'm going to have a grasshopper attitude. See yourself as the giant, not and see yeah. yourself as yeah. the winner and the, and the champion, not the grasshopper. Mm -hmm. Amen. The greatest he that's in you, that he that's in the world. Woo, hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans of good and not of disaster. Mm -hmm. To give you a good future and a hope. Mm -hmm. So rise up. You can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't lay there. It's time to change. He's got great plans for you. Yes. Go like this. Yes. Say you. Yes. You, you, you. Yes. Okay, you. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. Me. Me. You can say Jose. No. He's got great plans for you. He said, well, you know, he's always going you to... You say those things. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, 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 <laughs> he's always no. going... He's always pointing, well, he's always using her, always using him. No, he wants to use you. It's yes, time to change, change that. Yes. Forget about that. Amen. Don't go there no more. Yeah. Amen. Know who you are. Know who's backing you. You're the winner. You're the servant. You're a child of God. You belong to him. He says, arise. You know what? Child of God, arise. That means revive yourself, stir yourself, renew yourself, stir yourself up, begin to act mm -hmm. as a warrior, as a champion for him. Amen. Amen. Use your God-given authority. Be motivated. Be encouraged. Move on. Press on. No more holding back. Be fed up. Take action. Hallelujah. I'm Amen. Taking action. <laughs> I'm taking action. <laughs> I'm taking action. On a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. No more holding back. Amen. It's time to move on. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So, hallelujah. <laughs> Listen to this. David said it, said it like this. I am ready to pursue, overtake, and recover all. You know, if you ever had the enemy take something from you, he says, when you found that out, he said, when you found him out, he said, he's going to have to return it sevenfold. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. You're going to have to return it sevenfold. Amen. And David said, in Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel 31 through 18, read those. You can write it down and go read it. It says, I'm ready to pursue, overtake, and recover all the enemy has taken. Right. And he's taken a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's time to stop and recover sevenfold of what he's Amen. taken. Yes. You're ready to recover it. God. It's time to press on and take action. Refuse to allow the enemy Amen. to gain any more ground. Amen. You are the winner. You yes. are yes. the champion. You yes. can do all things through Christ. Yes. Amen. I hope this uh, blessed you. Amen. So praise God. Amen. We're going to stop here. But uh, we're just uh, 
open it up if anybody needs prayer. For those of you that are watching, if you need prayer, if you haven't received Jesus, well, we've already talked about that. And, you know, just say, Lord Jesus, uh, I've sinned against you. I repent. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And if, if you've done that, just find you a Bible-based church where you can go and grow in the Word, mature in the Word of God, amen, and be a mighty warrior for Jesus, amen. If you have something that's ailing you, just touch that part of your body and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. I receive my healing. Amen. Sickness, I rebuke you. I command you to leave me now in Jesus' name and receive your healing, amen. So praise amen. God. Amen. Praise God.